Hello, this is Marina's and Ellie channel. And today we have a special guest, uh, Beryl and Almira from Sala Running. And this is a new product on the market, which has huge potential. So let's talk about that with the selling mod, uh, model, Beryl, Almira, and hello, Ellie. And welcome. They are joining us all the way from Turkey, Beryl from Istanbul, and Almira, uh, she's in London, but uh, normally she's from Fethiye, so international guests. Yes. <laughs> Please introduce yourself and uh, tell us a couple of words. What's your role in the company? What do you do? What's your experience with seller running? So it's straight from seller running. I started working as a community manager and I take care of social media, promoting the seller running and overall communication about the products, basically. And today I will give you a brief introduction about the product and I will show you the dashboard and everything. I'm Almira, I'm the product manager of Seller Running and our sister repricing tool, a smart repricer. I'm basically translating the business needs of our over 25,000 registered users to our products. This is what we have been doing for the last couple of years. So you said couple of years, Seller Running has been already in the market for many years, but now it's getting more known in US. Yeah, um, Seller Running was actually a product that was uh, developed for basically needs of dropshippers in Turkey. It was like very homegrown friendly product that was used by like dropshipping committee in Turkey. But after being acquired from Tricode, it's going to do a US launch. Will the system change after being acquired with uh, Tricodes? What is the, the plan with the Tricodes? We are going to be integrating to the three cold suit. So we are going to collaborate with other products more, but the system will stay the same. Can you show us how the software works? What are the requirements? This is the main homepage of Seller Running, the dashboard. To summarize the product, briefly, actually, Seller Running is a cloud-based software tool that helps Amazon FBM sellers to automatize their actions. You can save your time and you don't deal manual processes by using Seller Running because it does it for you. You can just manage your orders, manage your shipments by just one click. So this is the dashboard you can see. It's very simple and very you know, easy to use. You can see the countries, as I said, this is Mexico for today. And this is the time range for the last 30 days. And you can change as you wish. And here there are product sales, estimated profit, order completed so far, and the products, number of products imported to store. And here is the order history. You can view in also profit chart or cost graph, like in three views. This is the sales summary. This is for last 30 days. And this box is for inventory summary. You can view the number of buy box products, the number of seller running house products, and orders located here. Some are sold and some are delivered, refunded. We can also view it in detail later. Store preferences, settings, and best selling products and categories below. So this is the main dashboard. And I will also show uh, some settings to you. Before you show the settings, can you please give the general idea how this actually works? Like where do the products go? We buy the products from a store in US or do we sell directly the items that Amazon is selling on Amazon.com mm -hmm. in other markets? You know, the products are listed on Amazon.com. Any, anyone can list products in Amazon seller can list the product at amazon.com so the way uh, dropshipping works is you buy that product and directly ship, ship it by using a warehouse just like amazon warehouse and it is going to be repackaged there and seller of record will change and you send it to the end customer so, so the, the end product customer... it's amazon's right we are not buying anything we are just reselling whatever is already yeah. available there so yeah it is relisting of the products from Amazon.com to other Amazon marketplaces. So the selling, for example, I don't sell at the moment to Mexico. I deactivated those marketplaces. Too many issues with IPs and their regulations are different. In order for me to sell in Mexico, I have to open my account again, right? Uh, not open, but you need to have a mark store in Mexico, Amazon yeah. Mexico. Okay. Yeah. So I have to uh, reactivate NARF again. So mm -hmm. yeah. we, we don't ship just when when customers place order we just find the let's say a product 
with better price on another markets. And we can see, let's say like in the US, this item sells on ten dollars and let's say in Mexico it, it sells for thirty dollars and mm -hmm. we just buy this product and we just list it on, on Mexican market right and then people can place their orders did I understand correctly you don't have to buy it you can list it before buying it and when someone places an order you can then purchase it so it doesn't require that much capital that's the beauty oh. of dropshipping, yeah. But where is the guarantee that that product is not already sold? By the time my customer buys it, maybe that's already out of stock and then I will have to cancel that order. That's what uh, seller running does for you. It actually checks the uh, US marketplace every couple of hours. Like we guarantee at least twice a day, but it is mostly up to four or five times. And it uh, ensures that it's not out of stock. Well, uh, there may be cases that uh, this happens, but it is such a rare case that like we don't really, you know, uh, encounter. That's uh, the beauty of automating this. You don't have to check it yourself. So running this for you. And it changes the prices too, right? If, if the price, because many sellers use the pricer now. So when I already listed in my store, it might have been $10, but now due to uh, being sold and repricers, it might be 12. So seller running does it automatically. Seller running has a repricer embedded to it and it targets buy box, but it is a very simple repricing tool. So yeah, it uh, helps you reprice, but you want something more sophisticated. I actually mentioned our sister product, Smart Repricer. You can get an Amazon repricing tool, but it does the simple stuff like repricing from your minimum and maximum amount and changing the prices according to that. Yeah. Does it price up? Like when the price, let's say the low seller, the low price seller sells out, does it go up because Amazon's repricer doesn't? Seller earnings may repricer's main target is targeting the buy box so as long as it has the buy box it doesn't really reprice that much but it aims to target the buy box it never aims to be the lowest so you will not lose profits that way the question about drop shipping like now drop shipping became kind of like a tricky word because amazon kind of allows it but says nothing should indicate that it is that this item come came from another supplier not into the box or box shouldn't be branded what about that yeah, the thing here is Amazon dropshipping policy is very clear and actually uh, seller running is an Amazon approved uh, tool for dropshipping. We just received the news yesterday too. We received an wow. email that Amazon sent to our users, not to us, that Amazon is Amazon approved and SPA API approved. The thing wow. here is you need to follow the policies. You have to look at Amazon, like if you are selling on their own place and go by their rules. So their rule is you have to make the seller of record your own if you are selling on Amazon, you know, as an Amazon seller, you know. So uh, if you use a warehouse module for this, an intermediary warehouse, there is no risk doing dropshipping. Yeah. You cannot just send the product to end user. That's not allowed. And warehouse, what city is a warehouse in? It is in New Jersey. So all products we order. So let's say customer place the order. The order let's say it's one item this one item goes to warehouse and then it goes let's say to mexico is that correct that's it yeah what There's is that be quite a delay yeah what is the timeline because you know everyone wants quickly <laughs> quickly and delivery Amazon tells you by this date it needs to be delivered so we uh, it never exceeds the delivery date. This is, um, of course, as you know, every product has its delivery date and both seller running and dropshippers uh, play accordingly to that. It is not like, yeah, it takes longer than an FBA product, that's for sure. But if someone chooses to uh, purchase uh, from an, another seller than Amazon, they see like how long it's gonna take so it's not about like tricking a customer or anything this okay. is something also gets misunderstood you see what you get like if it's three and nine days it is three and nine days and the warehouse doesn't have any uh, additional date on that what do you use for shipping the items mexico maybe it's not so far but if it's europe or if it's uh, you say there are 16 global markets that you work right yeah how do you ship the it for them? 
this? I mean, for Canada, there are like trucks, of course. There is road shipment. And for other places, like how it goes, it is basically, there are so many carrier options at first. Like you can choose from different carriers. This is not like when you come to Celerating, you have to use one courier. And there, there will be many options when it comes to uh, timings too and different prices too. It, the, the, all the shipping costs are included in the merchant fulfilled shipping fee. Yeah, of course. Uh, Celerating shows you when you implement the warehouse module, what is the end result and what is the end profit. You will never get surprises. Here you can reach the settings like account integration billing my store as store preferences and filters pricing and more so we can go to filters and customize it so here you can see various options select fba slash amazon products that means it filters the products only from fba amazon shipment or like filter missing shipping info products or you can detect the unavailable available products there should be what is one. the recommended one you say recommended amazon warehouse the first one this one yes select only fba amazon products and that's the recommended one yeah uh, because uh, as you say some people are worried about uh, getting it from a third party sister so uh, seller running allows you to not do that I mean, if you are worried about that, you can just get it from Amazon sellers. Yeah, that will be safer in case Amazon requires an invoice to invoice. prove that the product is authentic. Because if I, you buy from I a understand. third party seller, you can't really prove anything. I understand. And uh, seller running allows you to, if you want to go to safer routes. It so if you do that, that filter, then you only get products that Amazon itself it's selling. Yes. That's going to be safer. It's going to be like an A, a Z to Z. Amazon to Amazon flip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What we do. And okay. what about the second one? Filter trademark protected products? This one is actually only filter the trademark protected ones. I mean, the, the ones with the trademark. So it's also a lot safer than the other products. Does it mean the IP? The uh, IP products that have that issue IP complaints? How um, do you find out that these products have trademarks. Celerating um, database actually checks if they have trademarks. You mean not. like a private seller, private oh. label products? So uh, seller running has uh, connections to can crawl the US and Canada register offices, trademark offices. So US they PTO. issue a list and uh, daily it checks the trademarks there. And if there is an alignment with the trademarks in the product, it doesn't allow you to put them to your store basically. Okay. So That's it good keeps to know. you safe. And these are the other ones. We can also evaluate in detail, but also I want to show some store options. Here is my store preferences, starting with merchant token and Amazon store name, if you have any. Commission and stock options, uh, you can customize here. And tax percentages, also import fee calculation. This common pools, that's a very unique and special feature. Common pools is where Amazon collects uh, restricted products, actually. Amazon collects them into a pool and you can enable this feature. So you can automatically add restricted products to your store. So it helps to avoid list restricted products, actually. So that's a very helping Also, handling time, maximum delivery time, you can all customize them. And on store preferences, you need to here open the automatic product insert so that you can add your products to your store. And also that one is a problem required for new products. That's also a recommended feature. That means basically having approval for your product and those products going to pending approval. Does so it mean ungating? What is the approval? Approval from uh, Amazon, right, Amira? If I'm correct. To be ungated if you are gated uh, in the product? You can automate the whole process here. Like when you set the store preferences, you will see we are going to use our extension to search for products on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So you list the products according to your filters. But you can automate it and directly list it on your store. That's up to you. But I think that's hardcore level of dropshipping, <laughs> even for me. So uh, I would like to have some control and see what I am listing beforehand. So mm -hmm. I we always recommend getting uh, having approval for the products listed. But we have so many users who don't even use the approval option and they are doing fine. So it's 
it is depends on what level are you playing in this game. The approval is done by the seller or by the system? By, by the seller. Okay, and, so it's more uh, like a second view to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are going to show you that too. Right, so these are the store preferences. You can reach pricing here. Here, there are pricing options. Smarter Pricer, as Amira um, mentioned, is a pricing option and a tool of seller running. You can select either Smarter Pricer or you can select on like this and here is a pricing table here you can set your minimum commission and maximum profit margin and stock here and cargo fees you can all also customize here i'm if you have anything to add here I think that's fine. Uh, this allows you to customize your profits uh, based on a different um, price range. So you will never be in risk of, you know, losing profit. Mm -hmm. And after customizing your pricing options, filters and store preferences, you can add products. Uh, how are the taxes being handled? Because in the other marketplaces for Mexico and Canada, if we are through the Nerf product program, Amazon takes care of them. But uh, what about the other 14 global marketplaces? There are some that can be automated and some you can type in yourself in filters. So when you choose marketplace, you can type in the pre-tax things. So again, that's automated. You will have to just type it once, basically how much extra tax needs to be calculated and we take care of applying for uh, uh -huh, yeah yeah so the running covers the rest so adding new products i click on the inventory there are two options here you can add bulk with asins or you can add with extension so i think i can show it through here so here i will type the table as the previous example So I search for cable. There are a lot of options here. I can filter it. I mean, this is the seller and extension, by the way. This was uploaded before. So I search for the keyword and there are the filters here that I could customize. That store is, is for Canada. Page range, I can edit it by 50, for example. And these are the advanced filters. I can customize them, change them like this, and I will add search and upload. This was the second option. The 899 one, which uh, option are you entering? The Ugreen or the Amazon Basics cable? Which one are you uploading? It searches based on these filters. You remember those filters we preset in our uh, store? Mm -hmm. You are gonna add bulk at any cable that aligns with those filters so you don't oh. have to manually do anything you can't just sit and enjoy when it's getting uploaded to so, the store. for example this first one the amazon basic one 854 how do we know that this is actually profitable this is really cheap and if we are going to send it to mexico where do we see the fees and the shipping so we know that this is actually something that we can sell? You remember the pricing options we preset before and the filters? You will always, it will always add according to that. It will never add anything that doesn't align with that. So if it is the pricing option is between zero to ten dollars, and if you want ten percent profit, if this is not being purchased or listed in that regard, it's not going to list it. So, so yeah, the customer is not going to see eight fifty four. It's going to see the recap. You put that. So yeah, these are the examples basically. This one's the imported to store. The ones we are uh, inside the seller ending now. This is how it's going to look on our end. These are the products, right? That mm -hmm, yeah. the store was going to look. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, uh, the one I just looked for doesn't belong here, but these are the uh, mm -hmm. ones already there, imported mm -hmm. to store. And there's the ones doesn't meet criteria. It says uh, quantity not... hundreds. That what does that mean? So the customer can buy 100 of this, the quantities. We yeah, can know it's a stock. 100. That's the stock on Amazon. Yeah. So that's how many they can buy from us if they wanted to. Yeah. So like, Piro, you typed cable and mm -hmm. how from typing cable, which uh, like, what's the process from typing cable? Then like, then what? I'm just trying to, to figure out the whole process how it goes to this screen from here to there right yeah so we so, type cable 
Okay, mm -hmm. we preset all of our settings. What's next? After clicking search and upload, it automatically okay. goes to that store. But since there are two different accounts now, the demo account and the personal one, I couldn't click search and upload. So after clicking this, directly imports products to store. I mean, we were supposed to see the cable here, actually. And that is it. Like all we do is just uh, yeah. find keywords, type keywords, exactly. pr like with preset. And Put it's our filters. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Yes. With the filter so and it uh, added to our inventory and now we are waiting for the sale <laughs> yeah so it first goes to the queue and you are gonna just wait it like it's most 40 minutes like okay. it, it is usually 10 minutes or something but yeah uh, to be safe site it is like you you will wait like 40 minutes and it's gonna go to your store as you remember we had a pending approval thing here yes uh, if you open that there is also next to the in queue there's a pending approval section and there you can again filter the products and we will show you now so that's basically approval, let's say, on Mexico market, right? Because we could be approved, let's say, in the U.S. to sell this product, but we might not in Mexico. Uh, am I understanding it correctly or not? You are uh, understanding totally correctly. For everything uh, you want to sell, of course, uh, it is up to the seller uh, to get the authorization. Yeah. So right. you will have to get the approval. So that second approval is practically just us again double checking yeah. that we actually want this product to be in our store yeah yes. so it's more like a second test and this is the advanced search here you can see a lot of options here products only sold by me minimum price maximum price uh, without sales rank uh, you can also select those and sales rank in u.s marketplace unavailable ones non-fba ones those are the advanced options and goes here what about returns? One of the reasons that I actually stopped selling in Canada and uh, Mexico, especially Mexico, because Canada was coming back, but Mexico were my returns were staying there. I had to deal with them separately. How do we, does seller running facilitate that or it's just up to the seller? So for returns, if you use a warehouse module, our warehouse module, as Many of the stuff, like if it is damaged, leaked, it is insured up to a hundred dollars anyway. But if uh, someone didn't, for example, didn't like the product and uh, contacted to Amazon and Amazon found them right, then yeah, you will have to deal with the return. So it is up to Amazon, not even the person, you know. Yeah, because paying for the cargo back and Amazon sellers are a little bit used to not pay for the shipping back. Yes, yes, of course. I understand. It's a trade-off. Like you don't spend that much capital on buying. Prices, yeah, in the filters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the page that we can see the orders. We can see delivered, refunded, or sold. And what happens when you click to the refunded one? Why is that refunded? So, yeah, you, you can just re review the detail of the refunded one, shipment date and details, essence, SQIs and item IDs. We don't see the reason, right? Uh, um, there is reason if you come down. Sorry. As you see, uh, it's not, not delivered on time. On time. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Amazon is going to refund this. So if like, okay, it's not delivered on time, it's uh, yeah. let's say already in Mexico, where it, like where the product goes back to the US? If you want, yeah. If you want, you can get it uh, burned or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we have to pay for basically either destroy it yeah. or, or like be, being back. We cannot just like keep it in Mexico and resell to another seller or to another Sadly, buyer. Sadly, no. Sadly, no. I wish oh. someone allowed that, right? <laughs> All right. I mean, it's just... Yeah, yeah, seller running exactly. needs a warehouse in Mexico too. <laughs> At the and moment, seller running have just a warehouse in uh, New Jersey. You said? Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, are there any plans to make to have other warehouses in other countries? In the future, of course. We, we are very keen on growing our business. We like our business, so I think in the end, yeah, maybe all over the world, huh? <laughs> yeah, especially in Turkey, okay. it should be one in Turkey for sure, right? Yeah. Well, we never considered Turkey, honestly, because it's an Amazon.com to other marketplaces too. So we never really considered Turkey, but it's in the plans. If customers want it, we will deliver. <laughs> yeah, I guess like if you pick uh, the high ROI, 
it's kind of just like eating your cost but it's basically if it's a return or like you know refuse or whatever so it's basically it's going to be a loss for us correct of course uh, i think there is always risk with uh, e-commerce yeah. but uh, i can say that the earnings um, prove to be much bigger than the risk that's why we have over 4000 active users daily in a normal day so and uh, what are the fair the fees of seller running so if a customer wants to start using the platform we have a welcome package starting from $25 for 5000 essence somewhat cheaper compared to other reselling mm -hmm. tools so yeah uh, 5000 essence is very good for a beginner yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. So it's basically all we do, like what, what we as a seller should handle. So we pick the products, we import them in the store based on our filters. And uh, so we connect our payment systems, I guess. And then that's it. Or do we need to handle anything else? I mean, I think the main aspect is after shipments, you deal with the end customer. Here it is the difference between FBA and FBM is I think I feel like as an FBM seller, you are the point of contact for your customer, right? Yes. So yes. if there's something wrong or if someone even wants to thank you, you have to be on call, like welcoming them. And this happens to people call and say thank you because they see it is not an Amazon, it's a person who's selling, you know? Okay. And yeah, so you have to be on call, you have to be directly engaging with them. There are like good sides of it, it's very fulfilling, uh, but there are also bad aspects too, of course. Someone complains, they call and directly complain to you. So customer service, do we do customer service through Amazon account or do we do it through seller running? Barely can show you, seller running also automates that. <laughs> So you can, yeah. let's say like you have several markets and you want to message, let's say one, someone from Canada and from Mexico, and you can do it through seller running, right? Of course you can do it. Yes. And also you can automate the processes. Like if someone gives you five stars, you can create a feedback campaign according to that. Or like if you yeah, get a negative true. feedback, seller running will give send a feedback campaign according to that. So you don't have to uh, directly do it manually. Hopefully you will get over a hundred orders a day you know you don't mm. want to do that to everyone mm. uh, no nice. we don't and uh, okay custom uh, like uh, picking the product uh, customer service anything else what we should do as a seller i can show what happens after order now well, that is sold and we can click order now here okay yeah normally so after clicking order now this is the page we are supposed to view since it was a demo account. I can show it from the picture. So this one adds to, adds to cart, the product. Mm -hmm. And then we can just continue with address and payment and everything. Mm -hmm. like, like this. We um, have to like enter this. those manually. It's not automatical. After it's sold, we have to go through the process and order now. So we do this manually for each product. For order now, yes. I mean, clicking order now and then seller running does it automatically i mean after all the processes i mean after we click order now okay yeah after order now it has to cart uh, it fills the address it continues the other steps that happens automatically but but first yeah we need to click order now and then it happens in an automatic way here the feedback options i showed before and the reports also you can read some reports analyzing your performance your sales and profit yeah can, can we look how it looks like? So you can see the status, when it was delivered or if it's refunded, mm -hmm. the price and the profit you get and the percentage of profit, fees and dates, and mm -hmm. of course the order number it's in very detailed. Um, you can see some uh, red ones or return requested as a detailed information. So this is the sales report, also a canceled one here. Mm -hmm. What's happened, like, so, okay, so they can cancel and the product could be only already on the way. And um, again, we need to destroy this product basically. Or maybe it's canceled before, because yeah. before, if, if we don't click order now, that mm -hmm. product practically is not sent, right? Yeah. Order now, it's the one that starts the process. Definitely. That's the completion. Cancelled, yeah, beforehand. 
What is the majority of the sell? Where are the majority of the sellers from? Turkey? Turkey. Yeah, it was a Turkish product, as I said. Yeah, and... we checked the YouTube and there are many videos in Turkish mm -hmm. explaining the platform and how the software works. But in English was very, we try to translate. I know some Turkish, so, but still it's really good that we can. El Ellie lived in Turkey. I have another question. Okay, so like we know in, in the US, when we buy in the US, sell in the US, uh, and we ship FBA, mm -hmm. that's what we do mostly, okay? So like Amazon is basically hold our money for a while because in case of customer wants return the product and Amazon have to refund from our money. So there is a hold and then we have a payment. How the payment works with uh, seller running and this model? It is the same basically same yeah same same everything okay, is handled from amazon all we do is seller running it's pay for the membership monthly membership yep. and pay for the product right yeah yeah of course but, but we pay uh, to uh, amazon no uh, please, uh, we pay for the product to whoever we are, we are buying it from okay so it can be amazon it can be another third seller uh, that's it basically who is uh, whoever is selling the products okay so we pay monthly subscription to seller running and we buy everything uh, from amazon and we pay to amazon when we buy it correct yeah, yeah. Okay. can we other than can we use a reseller certificate to apply tax exempt if we have one definitely definitely yes. i think that's accepted by amazon anyway okay no okay that's that. nice that's nice we 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 have a company and we have reseller certificate. Mm -hmm. so we can apply it. Nice. And also that will help you for warehouse fees too. If you have a company in US, uh, it's going to be, you can get a tax return, very high tax return from a warehouse. Really? Yeah, of uh, course. Do we pay for warehouse uh, separately? Yeah, but that's also listed within the product. So like seller running calculates that too for you. So all the profits you see in the end when you are ordering the product, when you go to the order page, is the everything calculated. So there are no surprises there. So it's, it's gonna be you can't show it. So it's gonna be charged from warehouse, charged from Amazon for the products, and we pay uh, seller running as a subscription, correct? Yeah. Okay. So the way I understood is that the warehouse fee is inside the product price, right? Mm -hmm. The platform automates that aspect too i think we can show it again we'll just to make it clear maybe this is uh, everything included included the warehouse fee too okay nice nice and can we have a report about let's say monthly what is our profit how many units we have sold uh, of do course. you have any reports like that profit report, we... I guess. Mm -hmm. profit report okay uh, you can't report anything in this product. It is, um, I think I always say it is uh, created for OCD people. <laughs> if you want to see a report, you are going to get it uh, in, from Seller Running. Yes, yes. Yeah, also most profitable sales you can uh, yeah. leave here. It is always cables. <laughs> yeah. Cables. <laughs> so that, that's a good start. Not heavy products uh, is always the best, especially yeah. Yeah. shipping <laughs> Definitely. Outside. And something not on top of everyone's mind, because like if, if it comes to everyone's mind, usually the price will tank. It yeah, definitely. Something, yeah, something. And things that are useful, you know, daily things that people yeah. use all the time. But people yeah. don't think about it, yeah. Uh, even your grandmother wants to uh, buy it. That's the way to go, you know. <laughs> um, is it uh, is any way we can see which, uh, like, let's say, which product make the most money, the most sales, is it any reports like that? Not in general, but particular by the Asians. Uh, yeah, if you go to dashboard, you can see your best selling products very easily. Can you go down, please? Yes. This one. Yeah, there are, these are your best selling products. Nice. And these are your best selling categories, actually, if you want to customize your yes. store. Some yes. people like that. Yeah, I love it. I, lo I can't mm. wait. <laughs> I can't wait to try and to start. Uh, I think you what are going to like. What is the most expensive package? So the cheapest one is 25 for 5K ASOS. What is the most expensive one? You know, I never got this question <laughs> in my life. <laughs> let me. Uh, would you like to say it, Mary, or should I do the honors? Uh, yeah, you, you do it. <laughs> it is $2,330 per month. What does that include? Everything, Everything. Uh, every package is the same. 
every future is the same. The pricing changes according to the ASIN number. ASIN so number. this this says 500,000 ASINs and we have users using this. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, big stores. Nice. Big stores. Yeah. I can't wait to start. That sounds amazing. That sounds like a new opportunity because I think we tried it all already. <laughs> what was available in the US, but we didn't try international sales. And yeah. Go, go for it. We will. We definitely yeah, have, we have to first see how to open our accounts for the other markets, because you say there are 16, including mm -hmm. Mexico and Canada. So that needs to be done by the seller, I assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy and um, so you okay. can sell all those. Uh, guys, if you want to try seller running, we have a promo code and the link will be in the description. If you want, you can send me a list of questions afterwards. We can answer for you. And you can read as, you know, user questions or stuff. Some people sounds, do that. Sounds it good. It will actually. be great. Yes. After we yeah, process yeah. all this to have another Q&A and get, uh, we are going to put this on our Facebook too. So we are going to get Q&A from our questions from our uh, subscribers. Yeah, we can definitely uh, send you a written list of anything you want, I mean. We yeah. can do this again. Well, if you liked us that much. <laughs> oh, we do. 